Caught on dash cam video, a frantic woman jumps out of a moving car saying her husband was beating her. The situation unfolded Tuesday afternoon off of Blue 410 and West Military Drive. Eyewitness News reporter Zach Briggs talked with the man who rescued her. She jumped out! She jumped out! She jumped out! I saw her screaming and I just felt empowered to do something. Michael Shackelford travels San Antonio quite a bit for work, but never did he think he'd see alleged domestic violence play out on the highway. Everything caught on dash cam video Tuesday afternoon. She's screaming and kicking in the car. He's erratically, she's trying to get out of the car. I see a lot of different situations, real, but this has got to be uh, at the top of the tier, you know, uh, this was re pretty extreme. The captured incident begins near Loop 410 and Ingram. Shackelford hears the frantic cries of this woman as she tries to get someone's attention while the passenger side door is wide open. Hey, I'm a, I need police ASAP. Shackelford wastes no time following the car all the way to Loop 410 and West Military Drive. She jumped out! She jumped out! She jumped out! Ma'am, get in my truck! Get in my truck! He's been hitting me. Get in the back! The woman alleges her husband driving was the attacker. I was just trying to really get her out of harm's way and away from the alleged attacker and because I didn't know what the situation was. Shackelford flagged down an officer. Officer, we need help! And they proceeded to a nearby restaurant parking lot where medical crews arrived and police took over. The bizarre situation played more than a million times on Shackelford's TikTok. I want to donate money to the battered women's shelter. He's now efforting a fundraiser to help domestic violence victims here in Bear County. Maybe it could help someone like this victim or a child or, or a mother or father, whatever the situation is, and, and hopefully some good can come out of this. Zach Briggs, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. San Antonio police say the victim was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. They're investigating this case. Now, here's the important part. You can learn a lot more about helping domestic violence victims by going to kins5.com and clicking on this story.